The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me, because the Lord has anointed me. He has sent me to bring glad tidings to the poor, to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and release to the prisoners. Normally around Christmas time, we think a lot about gifts or what we might receive or what we might give. But there, what we need to understand in, in this time of Advent is that there's a movement that God makes that the human mind doesn't fully grasp. And so when we suffer, He draws closer. And when we need Him more, that's when He's nearest to us. But typically human beings think that when we're suffering, God is far from us. Or that when things are going well, we don't need God. But the fact of the matter is, is that Jesus came because we were brokenhearted, we were captives, and we needed to be set free. The fact that happens at Christmas is that Jesus comes to us and there's no way that we could keep him away. I will live here in, um, in Mexico and I work at a Casa Hogar for troubled and abandoned youth. And one time, a young boy ran away and we actually found him with the cows. We found him in a pesebre, in a feeding trough. And he was there not wondering what gift he would get for Christmas or what party he would go to. He was wondering if somebody would come to him and to help him to be set free, that somebody would love him and come all the way close to him and find him. And that's the message of Jesus Christ at Christmas. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. Those whose spirit is crushed, he will save. And so this young man was waiting for someone to come to him. And the message at Christmas time is that Jesus couldn't be stopped. He wanted to come to us and to help us. And so during this time of Advent, we need to see ourselves as the captives, as the brokenhearted. And if we open our hearts to Him, we can be set free. And then we'll find true joy in Christmas.